WUSA 9 Weather Impact is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Well, you know that saying, misery loves company, right? Well, you can take solace that we will not be the only ones dealing with this extreme heat. The U.S. could see almost 200 new or tied heat records this week, spanning more than a dozen states. Here at home, taking a live look outside right now, D.C. has issued its heat emergency, meaning cooling centers are now open across the district through Friday. Now, if you need assistance, call 202-399-7093 or dial 311. Kaylin, technically summer doesn't start until Thursday, but man, <laughs> not even summer. Hot, yeah. like, hot like fire. Yeah, <laughs> good warm up into the official start right. of summer, which of mm -hmm. course is the summer solstice on Thursday. And while so many folks are at risk of breaking records over the next several days, it's going to be hot here, but not that hot. Our better chance for record breaking heat comes at the end of the week. But here's a look at our current heat advisories across the country and the bulk of the heat over the next several days. That's back into parts of the Great Lakes, the Midwest, up into the northeast and New England as well. Everywhere you see shaded there in orange, that's a heat advisory. But we also have those heat warnings for parts of Michigan, Ohio, and into Indiana. But notice our area not under any kind of heat advisory, and I don't think we'll see any until later this week. For us to get a heat advisory, that means feels like temperatures of 105 to 109 degrees. And while, yes, it will be hot over the next several days, it's not that much warmer than what we typically expect for June. And with relatively lower humidity, it's not going to feel much warmer than it actually is. So even our heat index values will stay in the low to mid 90s over the next several days. But it's the end of the week and into the weekend when temperatures get even warmer. We're talking mid to upper 90s for Friday into the weekend with slightly higher humidity. Still not super sticky, but I do think we'll start to see some feels like temperatures getting close to if not over the triple digits. But for the next several days, our dew points will stay right around the mid 60s, which really is pretty comfortable for this time in June. It will feel a little humid whenever you step outside just because we have those really hot temperatures. But by the end of the weekend into the weekend, dew points start to climb near 70. Again, still not bad, but much more noticeable than what you can expect over the next several days. Now, as we look at the uh, forecast for today, again, we're talking temperatures back in the upper 80s and low 90s. Feels like temperatures generally should stay about five degrees uh, about five degrees warmer rather than what the thermometer is reading. So keep that in mind for outdoor activities. Yes, you do need to take those heat safety precautions, but really treat the next several days as a warm up of what's to come for the end of the week, making sure we're staying hydrated, talking to the family about how you'll stay cool throughout the day, because we're really going to need to implement those heat safety tips by the end of the week when the warmest temperatures move in. But over the next several days, plenty of sunshine. We really don't get any relief from the heat from those summer showers until next Sunday. That is our next best chance for scattered showers and storms. Allison. 